What's up guys? It's Mikey K here with Man Meat Barbecue. I'm wearing my Meat Hustler shirt today because I figured it was appropriate. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a very, very small boneless picnic shoulder. The reason I'm going to use a small little boneless picnic shoulder like that is because you know what? It's just me and my wife. I don't feel like smoking an entire pork shoulder. Um, I think these are a little bit harder sometimes to smoke. So we're going to go through that and we're going to show you what we're doing. Um, and we're going to have some fun. We're going to use some Meyer Mix and Hickory Rub on that. Um, and we're going to use this beautiful brand new knife that we just got. Um, it is a, I think it's called Kenshi or yeah, I think it's called Kenshi. Uh, I, I'm going to, or Ken Shaw, sorry, Ken Shaw, Ken Shun, butchering it, Ken Shun knife. Um, it is a beautiful, uh, Japanese made knife, but it is made with German steel. So it is a little bit different. Um, but it's made in the Japanese fashion. So uh, it is still beautiful, beautiful steel. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get rid of this net. Um, if it doesn't come off like it is coming off for us really nicely, use that beautiful sharp knife um, and make sure you get it off. Uh, this looks pretty nice, it makes life pretty, pretty easy. Um, there's not much trimming that I really wanna do, just a little bit of this excess fat. Um, really not too much. So if you guys are new to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and that lovely bell button. Um, it's very important for us, it helps us out, it'd be awesome. So uh, now I don't like putting any mustard or um, olive oil, you can put a little bit of olive oil maybe if you want a binding, but this is pretty moist, so I don't think it really needs anything. Some people like putting it on, some people don't. Um, I'm just in the campaign, it really usually doesn't need it. So I just season really, really nicely. Make sure you season all sides. Get everywhere, even in the little cracks, I still get in there. Because once you pull it, you're gonna have a little bit more flavor throughout, you know what I mean? And then I always re-season after pulling, uh, just a little bit. You don't have to like heavily re-season, but you're only seasoning about 5% of that pork shoulder when you're doing just the outside. So you want those flavors to really penetrate. Now, if you want to inject or something like that, that's gonna be a whole nother flavor profile that we're stepping up onto it. But I don't really think that it's a necessity. Um, I think it's more just uh, make it look pretty, have it there, let's go put it on the smoker. Just waiting on clean smoke, that's all we're doing here. Um, you see that dirty smoke? You really don't want to put that. You don't want to put your food on when it's doing that. So we are waiting for that egg to come to temperature and waiting on some clean smoke. If you see that, that is dirty smoke, guys. If we look right now, we have that nice, beautiful, clean smoke. So we're going to put the pork shoulder on, the picnic pork shoulder on right now. And uh, yeah, look at that beautiful, clean smoke. You almost can't see anything coming out of the chimney. Okay, what's up guys, so we are back here. We got some beautiful color on this. I'm gonna temp this really fast. We're temping at about 140 right now, and it's gonna start hitting a stall. Since it's a little bit smaller, what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually wrap this down with foil. And the reason I'm gonna do that, normally I wait a little longer to wrap, or I don't wrap my poor shoulders at all. Um, but you know what? We're gonna wrap this baby right now. We're gonna take a little bit of butter. The reason I add a little bit of butter to these is because they're so much smaller and there, there isn't as quite as much fat on top of it to, um, to heal or to shield it from everything else. So I am just going to wrap that up really nicely. Take that off the cooker just for a second, just so I can wrap her up. Take one more piece. Well, I'll put that there. 
put it right in the middle. Wrap this puppy up. Reason we're wrapping is I want to keep as much moisture in there as possible through the stall. I don't want it to render out too much. I just want it to be a lot, lot prettier at the end. It already got good color. It's got it taking all the smoke it's really going to take. Now we just got to get it tender. So let's put her on there. Let's have a good time. Okay, guys. So we are done with our cook. We have our shoulder here. It's nice. It's set. It's, hang it's been hanging out in a cooler for just a little bit. Um, we are going to pull it. So I'm going to throw these lovely gloves on, which are fantastic. They're just cotton work gloves. If you've been wondering how people do it, it's just a cotton work glove. It's very, very simple. And then we throw these lovely regular plastic gloves right over it. So once again, if you like our channel, my name is Mikey. I'm with Man Meat Barbecue. We put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Sunday are entrepreneurial videos. Wednesdays are these lovely recipe videos, which is more kind of a cooking by feel, but it's just a good, it's a good fun little thing. So look how beautiful this small little shoulder is. Look at that. Tons of juices. I know we put some butter in there, but tons of juices. It still looks really pretty. It's still super hot. It's piping hot. It's been resting. It hung out for a little bit. And, uh, you know, we're going to just start pulling this. Start giving it a little bit of a pull. It does give a little bit more of a tug than your regular pork shoulders will. Um, just because, for, for obvious purposes, it's a smaller cut of meat. It doesn't necessarily always fall apart. But it still tastes fantastic. It pulls fantastically. Um, it's falling apart, and it's hot hot it's nice beautiful hot i like hitting a little bit of that let's find out how good this is oh it's fantastic it really is we used a little bit of my iron mix and rub um threw it in there uh let it let it really um really come apart these smaller shoulders tend to be a little tougher. Just so you guys know, they will go a little bit longer for, or not longer in, in cook time, but it, they just tend not to fall quite apart like a huge shoulder will, because the muscles are a little bit smaller and the, the cut that you get that you get it from. But you're getting some beautiful, beautiful feeling to it. I love them. They are beautiful. They're falling apart nice and easy. That dark meat's right there, look at that. Look how that's just coming apart in my hands. I like the hand pull. If you if you have some uh, claws or you like doing forks, whatever's up to you, whatever's easiest for you, just start pulling that shoulder apart. Um, I like to let it go right back into that moisture, into that into that butter slash fat kind of come apart. That's my favorite way to do it. And uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you guys like this. Once again, my name is Mikey. I'm with Man Meat Barbecue. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and comment below if you like these videos. That's what you're. That's what we're here for. This is just fantastic. It really is. It doesn't need much. It's just fucking awesome. So, if you have a small family, you don't want to cook a whole shoulder, or you don't want to eat pulled pork for two weeks, um, these shoulders are just fantastic. They come apart really, really nicely, and uh, they're just the best way to go. So enjoy guys. Can't wait to see you next time.